What's going on guys, Greg here from CarD.com. Welcome back to the channel. And if you haven't noticed, today is a big day for Cody's 2014 Mitsubishi Evo. If you guys aren't familiar with this car, this is our videographer's car, the guy right behind the camera. We did a couple other videos on it of getting it some spec detail lights. And the big thing was getting this SST transmission rebuilt. It's been on the road for quite a while. So Cody is ready to start throwing some more mods at it. And today it's getting a full suspension overhaul and check out what we're gonna be installing. Now this is Spilstein's B16 coilover kit. This kit is just engineered to the nine. It's perfect for all of you out there that want a performance-driven suspension coilover kit that gives you a ton of adjustability. With these, you'll be able to adjust the compression and the rebound of each damper. But it's also gonna give you full adjustability in ride height. So you'll not only get performance on the track, you're gonna get the stance that you want. And that's both things that Cody's really looking for for his Evo. Now, I'm gonna stop talking about this because we have a ton of work to do. Before we get there though, I wanna measure all four corners, understand what the ride height is right now, so when we do get this installed, we'll be able to dial it in perfect. Well, Cody handed me this yardstick from 1982 to do these measurements, but you can use a standard tape measure or whatever you have. The big thing is if you're ever lowering or lifting your vehicle, you wanna take measurements of its ride height before any modifications whatsoever when it's bone stock, so you can understand how drastically you're changing. And in this case, we wanna be able to dial in all four corners to make sure that it's lowered the exact same amount or even change it or alter it depending on certain conditions. What you're gonna to wanna to do is use the center of the hub as your reference point, such as right there. And then we're gonna measure it based on the bottom lip of the fender or the wheel well, sorry. So that's centered. And it comes in actually just about, I'm using go 14, uh, 15 inches actually, we'll go with this outer lip, 15. We'll do the same exact thing here for the front, center of the hub, and it's just about 15 and a quarter. So really, this thing is even side to side as it is bone stock, and I mean, we should expect that anyway. No variances whatsoever. But the point is, is when we do get everything installed, if Cody wants an inch and a half drop front and rear, we have a reference point and a reference measurement to go off of to make sure it's actually an inch and a half from stock. All right guys, at this point, like with any other job, the old stuff has to come out. This is the stock Bilstein strut setup on the Mitsubishi Evos from 2014. And these things have seen some miles. I don't know, what is it, 115,000 miles in this car? Even if we were just replacing them um, based on time and mileage, they're, they're old, they're tired, they're done. Uh, this part really isn't exciting. Both front struts are getting ripped out, rear shocks, everything's getting torn out so we can get the new stuff in. Two bottom strut bolts are out. You can just, and that's it. Pretty much the boxes allow us to kind of let everything stay as one assembly. The axle's not gonna pop out and we've got plenty of room to unbolt the top. Let's do it. Last one. And there you have it. There's one. Yeeks. All right guys, so original factory um, Bilstein front struts are out. As you can see, uh, they are long overdue. And what we're gonna need off this piece is essentially the top bearing plate on the bottom spring seat right below it. So to do that, uh, spring compressor has to come in. We'll have to compress this a little bit so we can take the tension off, take the top nut off, and remove this stuff. We need this. There, see? Eibach, baby! 
right from the factory. Okay, so there's an adjustment range for the lower spring seat on any coilover set. And for this particular one from Bilstein, you actually measure from the center of the top hole for the strut to the bottom of the spring seat. Now what we've done is we've set everything right in the middle. Uh, the adjustment range is roughly from seven to seven and a half inches. We set it at around seven and a quarter uh, because that's kind of the stance Cody's looking for. With that already set, we can start to assemble it. We go ahead and slide our spring on. Now the factory top spring plate, make sure that where it says in, that points in towards the engine bay. So this part of the strut is gonna face out towards the spindle and the knuckle, and this is gonna face in. Uh, I'm gonna use the indentation on the bottom of the factory top spring plate to understand where, see what I'm talking about, where the original one went. And this spring plate can only go on one way because it's keyed, it's got a slot in it. With that lined up, we have our strut bearing plate for the top through some new grease in there. That is gonna sit like so. All right guys, got the um, top spring seat on. That looks great. The coil spring is exactly where we want it. Bearing plate went on fine. Get this cap on just to cover it up, and keep all the grease inside. Looks freaking good, man. This is ready to go on the car. Just gotta do the other one. All right, like any other strut job, Feed it from the bottom, line it up. Ah, all right, that's good, Joe. What happened to my hammer? All right, so now it's pretty much, it's all, everything's in place. Coilovers in, it's tightened to the bottom of the knuckle. Uh, it's all the little stuff that bolted to the strut. So this whole bracket uh, supporting the brake line. Now this side, we did have a problem. This little stud in the back um, did not, the nut did not come off. So we're gonna try to get that off right now uh, so we can free up this hole. Uh, but besides that, we're almost there. All right, guys, the front end is all wrapped up. New coilovers are installed. Now it's time to move to the rear. Now, like most sedans, to access the top mounting bolts for these coilovers, we actually have to remove the rear seat because they're just under the upper deck here on the back. So I'm gonna start actually inside the car, getting the seat cushion out, the backrest, and then that panel so we can finally access the bolts and get these things removed. Guys, I'm not gonna remove the whole backrest, I'm just gonna leave it sitting in here, but this is the uh, top of the coilover mount that we need to get to, these two 14 or 13 millimeter bolts. Um, that's what we, that is what we're going to need to loosen to drop this out of the car. So, before I do that, I'm gonna bring the car back up in the air, loosen the lower mounting bolt, and yeah, then get this loose and get these out of the car. All right, guys, just like the fronts, we have to break down the rears uh, because we're gonna need the top mounting plate, the boot, and a couple other things. So a spring compressor comes back out. All right, so just like the front coilovers, Bilstein also gives you an adjustment tolerance for the rear. It's anywhere from 12 and three quarters to 12 and a quarter from the center of the lower mounting point to the spring seat. Um, just like the front, we're gonna throw it right in the middle at 12 and a half. That right there is it. All right, now before we install anything, we have to actually get the top part of the coilover disassembled, starting with the adjustment knob. 
Now it's a good idea just to note the position of the knob. We're gonna take everything off in order. So I can actually see the dimple that was left in the top adjustment point. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom. Give it a, just an additional turn to once again, put a dimple there. Yep, perfect. All right, the first thing you go on is the coil spring provided with the kit. You'll notice this is a progressive spring. The coils are tighter at the top, a little bit wider at the bottom. So it's gonna change the spring rate depending on how the coil is compressed. Um, bottom line is, is you wanna make sure that the part that is essentially cut in half is on the bottom spring seat. The full coil is gonna remain on the top because you want the spring to sit flush on the bottom here. Next, we're gonna use the original OE bump stop and boot. Note that they do give you a different spacer to put in the bump stop with the kit that fits over the new shaft. So that's gonna go like so. I'll just kinda work her down a little bit. There we go. Next, we're gonna use the washer that comes with the kit, then that sleeve. Now that sleeve is going to replace the original sleeve that went through the bushings of the top strut mount. We're gonna have to take that out. That is too small to go through, to go around the new shaft. All right, this guy, this bushing is gonna come down over our new sleeve. And they're kind of stuck together. I'm just gonna leave them as is. We're gonna end up putting on the top spring isolator and the actual top strut mount. We're just gonna make sure the spring is going to align with how the factory spring went. So the end of the coil spring should sit right there. And I also want to note when putting this together to make sure the orientation of the top mount and the lower mount is how it needs to be when you put it in the car. So for example, this actually needs to spin like so with the lower mounting point uh, horizontal. And then we're gonna go ahead and just kind of spin that so that sits like that, perfect. Okay, now that that's in, we'll use the last of the OE parts, uh, which is going to be the upper bushing. And then pretty much reassemble the whole top half of the coilover with the parts that we took off initially to install the coil spring. Um, we'll have Cody give me a hand in just a minute because we'll get the nuts started and tighten everything down and then get it on the car. The lower lock nuts down and tight. Put our shim back on, upper nut for the adjuster. Gotta go crazy. I'm not sure it's snug. All right, just like the front, we're gonna feed it from the bottom up. Hold it in place. Cody, we may have nailed this. Yeah. So, well, no, you know what? That's just about an inch and a half. Yeah. 15 and a quarter. So you want an inch and a half. All right, guys, well, there you have it. This Bilstein coilover kit is all bolted up to this Mitsubishi Evo, and come on. This stance just looks absolutely perfect on this car. It's exactly what we needed. And with this adjustability, we were able to dial in the ride height exactly how Cody wanted it. And the dampening set right in the middle at five on both the front and the rear, perfect for street and everyday driving. Needless to say, this thing is ready to hit the road. 
Now, if you wanna see more product reviews, installation videos, and how-tos, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, I'm Greg from CarID.com, and I'll see you guys next time.